Welcome to my SU News Channel. Irish music legend Sinead O'Connor dies aged 56. Irish singer Sinead O'Connor has died. Her family confirmed in a statement she had died aged 56. It is with great sadness that we announce the passing of our beloved Sinead. They added to RTE, her family and friends are devastated and have requested privacy at this very difficult time. The songwriter, who changed her name to Shuhada Sadakat in 2018 when she converted to Islam, released 10 studio albums, with Nothing Compares to You reaching Billboard's number one world single spot in 1990. Written by Prince, O'Connor made the song her own and topped the charts in countries around the world, propelling her to international stardom. The simple, yet unforgettable, accompanying video featured almost nothing else but a close-up shot of the shaven-headed singer performing the ballad with tears rolling down her cheeks. O'Connor said she would think of her mother as she sang. Her debut album The Lion and the Cobra was released in 1987, while her second album I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got sold over 7 million copies worldwide. Her career saw her collaborate with the likes of U2 frontman Bono, as well as performing in 2014's band 830 with the likes of One Direction and Ed Sheeran to raise money for the Ebola epidemic. As well as her music, O'Connor wrote a memoir in 2021, Rememberings. Throughout her career, she raised awareness and spoke openly about her religious journey, activism, and mental health struggles. Earlier this year, O'Connor received a standing ovation at the RTE Choice Music Awards when she was presented with the inaugural award for classic Irish album 4, I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got. The singer dedicated the accolade to each and every member of Ireland's refugee community. Irish Toasich Leo Varadkar led tributes, saying, Really sorry to hear of the passing of Sinead O'Connor. Her music was loved around the world and her talent was unmatched and beyond compare. Laura Whitmore posted her tribute to Instagram and said, Sinead was the biggest star I ever met. And I was so starstruck I barely spoke. In many ways a star that shone so bright it was probably hard to cope having that much talent. The most beautiful voice, face, and aura. As an Irish woman growing up in the 90s, she was everything, showing girls were cool, Irish women could be recognized globally and shaved heads not just for guys though not a look I could carry off. My mam told everyone who visited Sinead lived on our road she was our royalty. Rest in peace Queen X. English musician Tim Burgess added, Sinead was the true embodiment of a punk spirit. She did not compromise and that made her life more of a struggle. Hoping that she has found peace X. Comedian Dara O'Brien shared, Ah asterisk 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 e, Sinead O'Connor has died. That's just very sad news. Poor thing. I hope she realized how much love there was for her, sick, but. The Nothing Compares to You singer's death comes a year after her son Shane took his own life at the age of 17. She later took the decision to not perform for the rest of the year due to her continuing grief over his death. In a statement at the time, her management said that it was not an easy decision for the singer, but she had cancelled the performances for the sake of her own health and well-being. We would like to respectfully announce that due to continuing grief over the tragic loss of her beloved son Shane earlier this year, Sinead O'Connor will not be performing live in 2022, they said in a statement. This has not been an easy decision for Sinead, but a decision she has had to make for her own health and well-being at this time. We would like to extend our thanks and appreciation to Sinead's worldwide agency ICM who have handled this with the utmost respect and dignity and have worked tirelessly. We would also extend our gratitude for the continuing support and understanding of local and international promoters. Thank you also to Sinead's friends and fans whose support and understanding we hold in the highest esteem throughout this period. The love being shown has been a source of great comfort and peace for Sinead. O'Connor is survived by her three children. Shane died aged 17 in January after his body was recovered in Wicklow after he was reported missing. She said at the time, my beautiful son, Naveem Nesta Ali Shane O'Connor, the very light of my life, decided to end his earthly struggle today and is now with God. May he rest in peace and may no one follow his example. My baby. I love you so much. Please be at peace. O'Connor posted a photo of her late son in her last ever Twitter message, saying, been living as undead night creature since. He was the love of my life, the lamp of my soul. We were one soul in two halves. He was the only person who ever loved me unconditionally. I am lost in the bardo without him. Source, Metro.com. Please like, share and subscribe.
Thank you for watching.